I'm with my buddy Jeff. What's up? What's up? And we're heading out to Phantom Fest. Uh, so hold on, wait a minute. I'm on YouTube somewhere. Y you want, yeah, you want, you didn't see the uh, little arcade expo video? No, I did not see that. The, you did not see it? I did not see You didn't that. see it? I didn't see it. Well, yes, you're on YouTube, you're on my channel. There it goes. Sweet ass. 
the apparatus. Yay, Pinkie Pie! Besides Sonic, who is your favorite character? Ooh, my favorite character. Man, I, I, I think I'm going to have to go with Knuckles then. Oh my god, you think alike. <laughs> <laughs> unlike, unlike Sonic, Knuckles don't chuckle. So. Okay. <laughs> you know, when I was little, I was told it was a female. And I actually believed it until I think I was like 12 years old. Yeah. And Sonic, what was it? Sonic, uh, what was it? It was on the Xbox, PS2, GameCube. <laughs> it was, I was like, oh, he has a guy voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I didn't get the Dreamcast. Yeah. Or, well, so. it's funny. When they didn't have voices, you always kind of envision what they might talk like. Yeah. And when I was reading stuff about Knuckles, they're always like, he's uh, he's got dreadlocks. Yeah. And his colors are inspired by Jamaica. So I always figured he'd have a Jamaican accent when, oh, they yeah. finally, when we finally heard Knuckles talk. Like, oh. hey, man, get off my island. <laughs> I'm going to punch you. Yeah. And, like, you know, then, then you hear him in Sonic Adventure, and he's just like, my name is Knuckles. And oh. it's just like... Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, it is It is about a human boy who goes off to live on an island populated by anthropomorphic creatures, which are colloquially known as furries. <laughs> Alright, so how did he get to that island? Oh, it's basically just a very simple type of his family moved there. This island just kind of exists in this world, and there's a lot in this story that... For all of its weirdness, you just have to learn to just let go and accept it. And that's one of the lessons that he has to figure out himself. All right.
so tell me about this movie that you guys are about to shoot. Yeah, it's um, it's the sequel to our last project, Echo Trail. It's a, a post-apocalyptic short about you know young people in the zombie apocalypse. Okay, so I've been told it's going to be shoot at Louisville. So it yes. is. It is going to be shot in Middletown, uh, Louisville. So a little bit you know outside, but still in the city. Uh, and yeah. So tell me about this movie you told me about um, yesterday, The Intruder. Yeah, this is a short film we did. It's kind of in a John Carpenter style. It's uh, very Halloween influenced. Um, basically, uh, the the stalker guy follows this woman home from a bar. She doesn't know he's in the house, and he's kind of lurking in the shadows, and it just kind of gets creepier and creepier, and the suspense builds, and it's a lot oh, of fun. Really? So. How, how does he stay hidden by any chance? So it's it's all about the layout of the house. Like we we wrote the script with the particular house that we used in mind. Okay. So uh, he just kind of used the shadows and closets and stuff to kind of hide. And he's in every scene. Okay. You just don't necessarily know where until a particular point. Oh, so so he's in every scene. So you, do we have to look for him? Like say like Will's Waldo by any <laughs> chance? You don't have to. It's more like. Uh, in Halloween where he's in the room the whole time but you don't realize until like the light changes oh okay